As a former HR executive with dyslexia and ADHD, I grew up thinking that I had to work twice as hard as everyone else just to keep up. And the truth is, I do have to work a lot harder than most people to do some of the more simple things in my life like typing emails, managing my calendar, and even remembering where the heck I put my darn keys on a daily basis. But once I learned how my brain is wired differently, I've been able to tap into what I like to call the genius zone or my sweet spot. I love solving challenging, complex problems. And honestly, it's easier for me than writing down a phone number correctly. Growing up, I honestly believed that I was not as smart as my peers. I was a child that prayed she was never going to get called on by the teacher. I would count paragraphs to make sure I could reread my paragraph before I had to read it out loud. And I would ask to take a bathroom break just before it was my turn to go right on the board in front of the, my class. My school age years were filled with panic. And early in my career, the struggles didn't just stop. I constantly felt like I was fighting against my brain, despite outworking my peers on a consistent basis. I felt so alone and ashamed. How could I work so hard and still feel like I was always failing every single day? I thought I was the only person fighting this battle. But what I've learned is that there are so many people that have a story that is similar to mine and are differently wired brains are a huge part of the reason that we're successful. Now I've leveraged my knowledge, experience, and passion to help organizations embrace diverse thinking styles through creating inclusive, practical, and supportive strategies within their workplaces. My passion for helping others understand they're not dumb, lazy, or stupid, but that they're extremely creative, intuitive, and really resilient fuels me every single day. While it sounds idealistic, I envision a world where people are celebrated for their best traits of their brain, and we can build teams that really play off of each other's gifts and talents, putting together this beautiful puzzle of human greatness. Can you imagine the amazing ideas that will come from teams when they can celebrate their own natural gifts and talents and are supported by their coworkers? Can you even imagine working in your genius zone every week or maybe even every day? When organizations create alignment like that, magic happens. And I mean magic. People are more fulfilled, organizations thrive, and most importantly, the positivity doesn't just stop with the employees. It reaches far beyond into their families, then the customer experience, even the suppliers feel it. The world is just simply a better place. I want to encourage you, if you haven't considered conversations about neurodiversity in your workplace, now is the time. There are brilliant people within your organization who will be so thankful you did.